Good morning, everyone. It's uh, my real pleasure to share this session dedicated to Asia and the Sino-American rivalry. Uh, it's a topic we have already partly discussed yesterday during our very substantive discussion. I hope that all of you had a good rest uh, during the night. We have um, uh, uh, 90 minutes to discuss uh, this, uh, this topic this morning with uh, six panelists I will introduce uh, uh, just, just after three set of questions I would like to, to raise. The very first one is about the nature of uh, this uh, rivalry and to try to identify the main fields uh, in which we could observe it. Is it in the military field? What about Taiwan, for instance? Is it more in the technological field? Uh, what about the chips, a topic we have already addressed uh, 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 yesterday? Just two examples about the, the way the discussion could, um, uh, could take. Second, I think we should explore in this uh, discussion the consequences for the others. I mean, apart uh, the US and China, there are other very important um, strategic players in the region, namely Japan, Korea, uh, India, of course, and the ASEAN countries. So it's important, and that's, I think, the benefit from this panel to uh, add the different uh, viewpoints. And last set of questions, it is, I would say, the regional agreement, regional partnerships, uh, which do exist at the time being, or which will exist in the future. And obviously, in that, the military alliance, the AUKUS, is certainly a game changer uh, we, we should address as well as we did partly uh, yesterday. So with this uh, free, free set of questions, we have um, a lot of uh, things to, to be discussed. We will do so with um, six uh, panelists. The first one will be uh, Mr. Akita, who is uh, from Japan, who is a commentator uh, for Nikkei. He will be on Visio with us this morning. After that, I will turn to Renaud Girard, who is a senior reporter and war correspondent for um, Le Figaro. And um, Renaud will uh, speak about uh, China's attitude, China maybe strategic mistake in the, in the region. After that, I will turn to Ambassador Lee, uh, who is senior advisor of um, Kim Enchen and a former chief negotiator for the Co Korean EU FTA. And uh, I will turn after that with, um, to Mr. Narayanayan, who is the executive chairman of uh, SecureX System and a former national security advisor to the Prime Minister of India. We will continue our, our discussion with uh, Marcus Noland, who is the executive uh, vice president and director of studies uh, at the Peterson Institute, and Marcus is with us uh, on Visio. And we will finish the first round of the discussion after the exchanges with uh, Professor Wang Jizi, who participated in a um, previous session uh, yesterday, and who is the president of the Institute <coughs> of International and uh, strategic studies at uh, Beijing University. Thank you.